We're good. All right, I know what you're thinking. Andrew, last week, you missed Market Monday. What is happening? You're falling behind. And unfortunately, last week, I had COVID. I just got over it. I don't know what the deal is. I have awful luck, even though I've got this beautiful fair skin with freckles and this red hair. I have trash luck. I got COVID twice this year after doing both vaccines and the booster. I got it back in January and then I got it again this past week. And it was just as bad as the first time. I had a few days of fevers and I had cold sweats basically every single night. But fortunately, finally, my energy is back to normal. I'm feeling a lot better, although I don't sound as great. So if my voice is a little raspy, bear with me. This is just the after effects of an awful, awful disease. I hope you and your family are staying safe. It seems like another wave might be coming back, even though we are all so sick of this thing. But nonetheless, I am happy to be back to bring you the numbers. So let's dive in to Market Monday for Irvine. It's Andrew Parker, your real estate agent here in sunny Southern California, helping you with the real estate needs. If you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell around Orange County, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to help out. Also, one of the big goals for 2022 is to hit 100 subscribers. We are very close to reaching that goal and we could definitely use your help. So please, if you haven't already, be a friend, hit that button, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And also you're gonna be notified every time a new video comes out. We're trying to do two a week, assuming that I don't get COVID for the third time, which I will be knocking on wood for that because I probably should not have put that juju out into the air. Nonetheless, let's dive in to the numbers for Irvine. All right, starting off with the new listings brought to the market for Irvine in March 2022. We are up to 315 new listings brought to the market. That's 22.4% less than what we saw last year. If we check out the bar graph just to see where we fit in between the past three years, you can see we're kind of right in the middle of the past two. So 2021 and 2020, we're sitting right in the middle of that for the most part. And then if we expand this out to the five-year bar graph or line graph, you can see that for the typical March, we're actually not too far off. So 406 in 2021 and then down to 294 in 2020, 405 2019, and then March of 2018 was 320, and then down to 355 back in 2017. So it's not too far off, um, even though we are less than what we were last year. Now, the problem is we need a lot more new listings in order to catch up with all the demand because our active listings are down to 245. That's 42%, almost half of what we saw in 2021. So that's really where we need to see this pick up because the demand is heavily outpacing the new inventory being brought to the market. Um, and we'd like to see this number come up a ton. You can just see how much lower we are than what the, the past five years have really been. Another thing to consider is we are currently in the spring season headed into the summer soon. So it was just crazy. It just blew by so quickly. But nonetheless, we are in that cyclical nature, the start of the cyclical nature for real estate. So what does that mean? A lot more transactions, a lot more listings should be brought to the market in the next few months uh, and really until basically the end of the fall. So hopefully if you've been looking for a home, you are prepared to purchase. If you're not, feel free to reach out, but we want to get you in touch with the lender if you're going to be using a loan. And if you're not, then we want to just jump in and find out exactly what you're looking for so that you can be ahead of the curve. Because right now we are on the upward trend and this is the time to be looking for a home if you've been needing one. So in terms of pending sales or active escrows at the moment, not much has changed from February to March. We are at 244 in February. We are at 249 in March, so only five units really picked up in that time period. Now, we also are down 39.9% from 2021's March. So you can see we are quite lower than what we were last year at 414, but that was a pretty abnormal year. If we compare it to 2017, 2018, and 2019, we're really sitting at a pretty normal level. So 250 back in March of 2017, uh, 237, 2018, and then up at 2019, we are at 246. And right now we're sitting at 249. So for the most part, this is a pretty normal month in terms of our pending sales or active escrows going on around Irvine. Now, one thing that has definitely picked up between February to March are our closed sales. The transactions that closed during March, we are at 190 in February, 269 in March. 
That is still 24.6% less than what we saw in March of 2021. But it's pretty obvious why this is picking up. It's the typical cyclical nature of real estate. So we should see this staying pretty high for the next few months uh, and into the fall. Um, but it'll be interesting to check out if anything changes. Highly doubt it will because I think a lot of people are still interested in buying homes even though the prices are super high and our interest rates are high as well, or excuse me, are getting higher. Historically, they're still low. So those people that have been needing to move and have been fighting tooth and nail to try to get a home are still bidding on homes. They're still wanting a property. And if you've got one that you've thought about selling, now is the time to take advantage of it. Speaking of the competition, let's check out the median days on market. We are down to six. That is 25% less than what we saw in March of 2021. If we check out the average, we are down to 11. That is 66% less. That's two thirds less than what we saw in March of 2021, which was at 33. 33 days is already a really great time in terms of an average days on market. And we just cut that thing down to 11. So it is incredible. This just shows how much demand and how much competition there is out there in terms of our buyers trying to purchase a home. And if you are somebody who has a home in Irvine, a lot of the owners out here are absentee owners, whether it's a vacation home or it's a rental property. If you've thought about cashing out and expanding your portfolio, 1031ing one of your investment properties into something larger so you can have a bigger cash flow, now is a really good time to take advantage of it. You can get your money turned around very quickly and we can get you into a new property very fast. Our month supply of inventory is still less than one month. We are 40% less than what we saw last year. Fortunately, it is going up a little bit. We want to see this thing pop up a bit higher for a more healthy market in terms of our buyers actually giving them a chance. But at the same time, it's the cyclical nature of real estate. You're going to see these mounds every single year for the most part, except for 2021. That just shows how crazy that year was. So hopefully we will see that healthy hump that we want to see in 2022 to give a little bit more inventory out there for our buyers. Price per square foot, our median price per square foot is 697. That's 36% up from what we saw in 2021. And then our uh, average is up to $704 per square foot. That's 32% up from 2021. That's just incredible to see how much property value has gone up over the past year. And how much are buyers willing to spend? Well, last month, we obviously had that crazy one on the median and on the average. We we're at 108.6, 8.6% over the original listed price for February. This month, we did go down, but we're still insanely high. We're at 107%. So that means 7% over the original listed price buyers are willing to spend on the median. And in terms of the average, we're at 8%. That's 7.4% over what we saw last year. Sellers take advantage of it. People are wanting to spend money and are willing to spend money. But as you can see, we are coming down and it'll be interesting to track this. If we see this continue to fall, that'll be an early indicator that prices might start coming down because we're starting to see pushback from buyers. Buyers not willing to spend as much as what sellers are asking for. So it'll be interesting to track it. But if you're looking for a time to take advantage of it, now is the time to do it, sellers. Now, what is that overall sales price that we all want to check out? Well, the median is up to $1,300,000. $1.3 million is what I was trying to say. That's 36.6% over what we saw in 2021. And then if we check out the average, you can see we are at $1.49 million. That is 26% above what we saw in 2021. An interesting thing to note here, though, we are seeing a hump form over the past, what, four months? So December, January, February, and March. It seems like we are leveling off here in terms of that average sales price. So it'll be interesting to track this because this could be indicating some resistance. And if we pair that, like I mentioned, with the overall uh, price received from the original listed price, if this starts to trend down for the next couple months and we also see this resistance, this could be an indicator that buyers are not willing to spend as much. With interest rates going up, that means that buyers have less purchasing power. They're able to spend less money. So it's important to take advantage of it right now because we might start seeing that go away. 
That's been Market Monday. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. Also, be sure to follow Andrew Parker Realty on all social media for more property tours, market updates, and real estate tips. And finally, if you have any questions or comments of your own, be sure to leave them in the comment section below or shoot me a DM. I would be happy to respond or make a video answering the questions that you guys have. All right, I'll see you in the next one.